Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining. So in this video, we're gonna go over URL filtering and uh, decryption. So uh, decryption, what we'll do is uh, the SSL will actually terminate on the firewall and then the firewall will encrypt it and send it to the website. And on the way back, it will do the same. So it could inspect the traffic and get more detail about the traffic, okay? Uh, also, please guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe, that will be really helpful. So let's start. I will start by going over here, this deny URL web access. So just want to show you here, like in the previous video, we did actually specify a URL category called new access. Uh, I misspelled it. It's supposed to be news access. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so here we're denying this traffic. So there's a couple of things that I've noticed, like when you want to use uh, like subdirectories. Um, so here we specify the domain. If you want to specify more attributes here, it won't work in when you're specifying it under the policy under a URL category. OK, so let's, uh, the best way of doing it is with URL filtering. It's actually if you do, and also here your decryption should be uh, configured on the firewall for it to be able to, to inspect the whole URL. Okay. So here let's uh, create a new um, category. Let's call it. So let's let's deny traffic to our website. And let's also deny. We could do like a wildcard. Okay. And let's clone this uh, clone. I, I like cloning it because it has already a couple of blocked categories that are that should be blocked, and you don't have to like go through the whole thing. Okay. So here we're gonna specify also um, things that I like. All right. So here you have those uh, multiple options. The alert one is actually uh, it will send the logs, so you'll have logs to know where the users are going to. Allow just will allow the users to pass through. You block you block the traffic continue is actually if you want to um, um, like you tell the user are you sure you want to move forward to this website okay so um, they, they have the option to just continue to that website right they don't need to uh, it's not blocked but like it gets them a prompt where we could actually edit and uh, we'll I'll show you where we could do that and override like sometimes you have some uh, website like you need some particular people to be able to access to them so you have to create like a credential on them also I'll show you where to do that okay so the first thing that I like to do is actually all the allow statement I like to change them to uh, alert okay all right and also let's do like unknown like unknown let's make it also like continue Just, uh, I don't want to just block, like, I don't want, I want the user to know, like, they are entering an unknown URL. And what else? Uh, anyway, you could see how uh, uh, secure you want to be. But let's just do net prepare here, let's just do block, okay? Now let's go over here also, like, when you're specifying the URL filtering, uh, this is the settings, the credentials here, it's uh, specified, like, user domain credentials filtering just for phishing to um, uh, secure your uh, your network. You don't want them to uh, send their credentials to the blocked website. Um, HTTP header is actually, that's a little bit advanced. We're not going to go over it. And same here. And let's name it our default, like uh, our. No, I, sorry, I need to apply it to the policy, which I didn't. Alright, so let's disable those two because like in the previous videos we actually did some kind of URL filtering and on this one Under action you go to profile settings. This is the policy that's for the web access and you specify profile URL filtering Specify default net people. What I like to do is actually when I'm enabling all that to put them in a uh, Policy group and specify what I want to do for the internet traffic what I want to do for the internal traffic and so on and so on All right, configuration committed successfully close. And let's comment again. All right, and you see the connection is refused. And also you notice I actually specified the star with one just to prevent any subdomain also. And you see since I we're using HTTPS, the Paulo Alto is not like, it's just, we're getting just connection refused. If you wanna do uh, get the actual um, 
deny page, which is actually here, uh, a response page, I mean. All right, so you have the one with the continue, the one with the save search block page, and here the category match and block, okay? So here you have the default pages, you could actually specify, uh, you could tweak them, and this is basically just HTML, and what you do actually, you come here, you specify, you do export, and uh, to open it, let's open it with text editor, and it's actually HTML, okay? Alright, so let's go back to monitoring, and you can see, let's specify here, not equal to the contain. Alright, so you can see those are all the net prepare and they are being blocked, okay? And um, those are being generating an alert. And as I said, if you say continue, you don't see any values. So let's do another example, okay? So let's go to the other category and let's block here a specific uh, page, alright? So let's do uh, blog and this is the home blog page in prepare where we have all our blogs. And I added two slash here. I don't want to do that. All right. So you'll see after the comment, like it's not going to take effect. Uh, the traffic will go through. What we need to do is, and let's do another thing here once again. Oh, the traffic will go through in all cases here. Because the blog is not... Uh, will not take effect since like the Paolo Aldo is not able to see what's inside the traffic it's just seeing the header and like uh, you see so now we have access so what we want to do is we'll have to do decryption to get more information what's inside the packet uh, the, the, the SSL encrypted part so what we'll go under policy you specify here uh, decryption all right let's close this You could specify source, destination, address, what we're gonna do, just specify the zones, inside, outside, you could also specify the URL categories, and so on, so on, and here you specify SSL proxy, and decrypt, alright? Just also here, as I mentioned, like, I, it's always better to, like, put a do not decrypt section, always, like, uh, inside. You know, you could keep it any here, by the way, it doesn't matter. And here you are add categories, like I would say, uh, like medical. And maybe uh, banking, what is it, finance, financial services, okay? So like I always, those you shouldn't, I would recommend always having it. And before doing that, you need to check with your legal department for sure, just based on your state and like... Uh... Oh, actually also here under the certificate, you should actually specify that the certificate is... Uh... And you see it's failed. So here under the certificate, what you need to do... Uh, here I'm gonna specify formal trust and formal untrust. And trust the DLCA, that's, that's not a big deal, we don't need that. So the forward trust one is specified that if it's a trusted SSL, like something uh, that the Firefine trust, what certificate they should put, and if the untrust, what they what certificate they should put. So what I'll do, I'll create a local certificate, I'll give it the untrust certificate. So I specify, like here, let's say this is the local cert, I specify for untrust, because your device will not trust this certificate, okay? So this is for the untrusted. The forward trust is for the trusted certificate, this should be a certificate that is trusted by the end user. You could generate it on the firewall and send it to your uh, machines, and add it to their trusted cert, or you could get a certificate from the from your root CA uh, and just have it signed and put it here so the users will automatically uh, trust that certificate. But in our end, we're just gonna trust it here for both. And I already have that certificate in my uh, trusted since I'm using it for global protect. specify greater at this time and let's do all right so that has worked
and you see it actually has blocked and it tells you like uh, you could click to continue this action will be locked or you turn to previous page and i want to go to this uh, all right, just wanted to show you like also if you want to do like the the paths uh, inside the website, the pages, uh, you will um, you have to do decryption for it to work. If you don't do it, it will not take into effect. And you see here it's continue or oh, block continue and then continue. All right, so so we explain the certificate, the encryption, the response page, uh, the setup. And here, this is for the URL admin override. So you could specify like if somebody needs to put a particular uh, password, and this is for uh, specifying the cert that needs to be uh, that's gonna happen for the authentication. And you could do a transparent mode or redirect mode. Okay. Usually, I use transparent; it's easier. And here, you could specify password. So let's just uh, let's do an example. Hold on. policy and not policy sorry under object here in place of continue right So now let's see. And now I need to provide the password. So as you could see here previously, when we went to the blog, it brings us here. And then we could provide the password to continue to the next page and we were able to. Okay. Uh, I think that's enough for this video. We went over all the possible uh, URL filtering methods. And uh, thank you for joining, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that would be really helpful. And uh, thank you.